How's it going everybody? I'm Dr. John Clayton, your Latin chiropractor here in Utah at Supra Chiropractic. In today's video, we're going over some arm issues. And when it comes to arm issues, the biggest thing that drives people nuts is usually the inability to use your hands. And so the primary issue that most people get diagnosed with or treated for is carpal tunnel. And so with this, we are addressing a patient who's been diagnosed with carpal tunnel, but also another issue which comes from like this area in here, which is the decrovanes tenosynovitis. And it's mainly from this motion where you're trying to pull and go down like this, like similar to hammering motion, or if you're typing at a desk all day, uh, or and or holding a child, a small child in your arms like this, that can also cause it. And so we're gonna be going through and addressing all these things. I'm gonna go through an explanation towards the end, but hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll catch you at the end for a recap. All right, take a deep breath in here for me. All the way out. Deep breath in here. All the way out. Deep breath in here. All the way out. Deep breath in here. All the way out. Okay, one more breath in here. All the way out. And then I'll have you lay on, let's see. I'm already getting ready for the next step, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. Lay on your next side? No. Okay, you good if I do this next set of ribs? Yeah, you could. Okay, perfect. Deep breath in here. All the way out. 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 Okay, I'm going to go here. Deep breath in here. All the way out. Deep breath in here, all the way out, and breathe in here, all the way out, and breathe in here, all the way out. Deep breath in here, all the way out. Deep breath in here, all the way out. Super tight up in there. Uh huh. Okay. Deep breath in here. All the way out. Let it relax. Deep breath in here. All the way out. Perfect. I'll have you laying your right side for me there. side for me. Deep breath in here. All the way out. I always feel like I'm I know, <laughs> seriously, right? Well that's what I was telling people like, like if you're gonna fall, fall towards me, right? If you fall that way, it's harder to get you. Yeah. So yeah, you're good. Lean your back for me now. Okay. All the way down. Holy cow. <laughs> Perfect. That's relaxing. All right. So how can this one want to do, but not this one? I don't get it, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> See if there's any, any pops left in this ankle, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guess not. Let it relax there. here. Is it tender out there? Yeah. Not too bad. Okay, I'm just gonna double check here. 
Tinder out here. Mm. Not too bad. So then when it comes to that area too, um, cause you can feel how tight that is right through there, right? So in the end, um, with this muscle, I like, if we don't get that to release, it's going to keep pulling through there. Um, and it's hard to, like, if you're typing all day, you're like in a desk position, it's almost like flexing, right? It's in a good position here, but then when you go to use it here, the hammer position like that, pulls right through there okay and then you go that in that deviation like that okay it just pulls right so in the end we're gonna have to kind of approach it from all the way up in here but even potentially up as high as there because mm -hmm. it's gonna stem all the way down there from all the, the different nerve um, um, kind of bundles so fun but not fun right so let that relax here okay here's the fun one here no, sorry. Okay. Let it relax here. Not too bad. Okay. Perfect. Let's relax here. This one should be smooth as butter compared to the other mm -hmm. one, right? If we do that same position here, yeah, see how it's, I mean, it's tight, but not as tight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, I'd say whatever you're doing through the day to kind of feel like this gets tighter, um, pay attention to it and then we'll get to adapt to it, I guess. Right. Mm -hmm. So I guess the joke that could be made is it's all those water bottles that girls have now, those Stanleys and stuff oh. that have the handles like that. So you have to hold them like that. It's because you got a big old water bottle, you're trying to get your water intake, and it's just torquing that muscle too much, you know? Yeah. So, fixing one problem and causing another, right? Yeah. Poor dream. Uh, your thumb won the pot battle for today, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, quite a bit of tightness. It's like tight on both sides. Take your pick. Yeah, that one's really pulling. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna pull this vertebrae in this area here. It's gonna be a little bit different on side. So it's, it's we're gonna adjust it and fix it on the right, but also by pulling it from the left. So it's kind of different. So that relax here. I'm just gonna bring it all the way over. Can I look all the way over there for me? All the way over. Let it relax, just like that. Am I still alive? <laughs> yes, you are. You're good. You're good. Let this one right here. So bring it all the way over here. Just a little bit. Okay. I got to do the first one first, mm -hmm. not the second one first. So, okay. Deep breath in here. Okay. Go and lift your head for a second. Just make sure your hair is not caught on anything. Be a bad day if you walk out with a haircut <laughs> like mine, right? Like, dang it, what the heck? Deep breath in here. All the way out. Relax. A little bit taller now, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we're basically going to go down through the um, deltoid insertion right here. And so take our needle right here. So we're going to be working kind of down the chain of the arm. A little tap. Okay, we're gonna go right in here. A good little muscle twitch there. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So people are like, I don't see the muscle twitch. Well, I think you probably saw it on that one because that was a really good one. Okay. So we're gonna work our way down, right about to the bend of the elbow here. Right into here. Let that relax. Right in there. Perfect. And then. We're gonna go into brachioradialis right here muscle. Okay. So it's gonna kinda pull it away here. Go to the side here. 
because we have a ton of tension running through this. So a lot of people that work on keyboards are going to have a lot of tension in here. Just like that. And then I'm going to go up a little bit higher as it comes up in here. We're going to from a different angle. Uh, typically you can needle it from this direction, uh, but because of the patient's symptoms and then how we're going to work on the decorative veins, tennis, and vitus through here, we want to make sure that the arm is in this position uh, to get the best relief as we would even work into the carpal tunnel region as well. So then what we're going to do through here, and this is one of these areas where uh, if you have a lot of inflammation, uh, in some cases with uh, any kind of tendonitis, um, we can kind of try and get it to break down a little bit. So we're just going to kind of run through here and make sure we're right on top of the tendon. Here, get a little tap here. Just like that. And that's going to be right through that tendon right there. And then next we're going to work through... It's okay, you can turn like that, are you okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, a little bit trickier here. We're going to work through kind of the carpal area as we get ready to do the carpal tunnel. So we're just going to kind of work right above. Kind of There's a line right here and a line right here. Um, so anatomically, we're going to go right in the line right here, next to that. And we're going about 15 millimeters in depth. Doesn't need to go too, too deep. We're going to go right here. Inside this first little crease of the wrist. Okay. Just like that. Alright, so then we're going to go right through here. So we're going to kind of come right to the uh, part of the uh, wrist where it comes together and forms kind of the palm area. You're going to see a crease and in most palms you're going to see some lines. And so we're going to go right to where these lines kind of intersect and cross right here. Uh, and then our needle position is just going to go kind of straight down like this. And this is a very intense needling area. Okay, let it relax. Okay. Not a fun one, but very effective. All right, then we're going to go through and we're going to do our thumb area. So a lot of people get carpal tunnel symptoms or weakness um, in their grip strength um, and thumb issues. And so we want to address the adductor pollicis muscle here. So we're just going to kind of go right into the mid belly area of it here. This. Perfect. right through this line right here.
And there's our needles in for carpal tunnel, brachial radialis, and then decor veins, tenosynovitis. Right, so we got our machine hooked up here, running 10 needles of electricity, one without electricity. So you can see through this area here, we have the adductor pollicis muscle, then we have the carpal area from the wrist. Right here in the abductor pollicis, going through the carpal area, the wrist where the carpal tunnel and the median nerve is gonna be there. Um, and then with the decra veins area, we're mainly just in that tendon area, um, fairly close to the radial nerve area that is by there, as well as this is going to be the to the upper forearm there, up into the upper arm there. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. When it comes to the areas in the arm and all the muscles, nerves, it is a pretty intricate area. And there's a lot of things going on in that area. And so if you've had an issue in your arm and you've seen a chiropractor for it, unfortunately, most chiropractors don't work on arms, don't work on anything other than like the spine, the neck, maybe a little bit of shoulder stuff, but a lot of them don't do the arms because it's not what a lot of chiropractors focus on. So in the end, uh, that's why I like showing these videos for you guys so you can see everything out there that I do, which hopefully includes most or all of the body. And so with these kind of issues, there is uh, so many things that play a part in them. One of the things that the patient noted was that when we did the needles up through the shoulder area here, is that those were actually way more tender than she thought they would be. And so that being the case, a lot of these issues, as we're working through the chain as it goes up, that's why we are doing these things. That's why we're trying to diagnose and fix anything that can go up through any of the nerves in the body. And so with this, we really were able to pinpoint and hopefully give this patient a lot of relief so that they don't have these symptoms anymore. And really what it comes down to and why I love working with patients and educating them, and I tend to see quite a few new patients that come in through the door because the old patients that we've seen as new patients, they've been told, come back and get adjusted when you need it. And hopefully by educating them on what is also causing the issue in their day-to-day -day life through posture, whether it's you know something they're doing at work, whether it's the way they're sleeping, whatever it is, if we can address it and correct it, and then they don't need to come in for adjustments as often, that's the goal, right? And so when it comes to these issues here for this patient, I love dry needling because it kind of wakes up that area so you can say, okay, I get relief, but at the same time too, what is causing that? And so you actually see a lot of people with dry needling, they'll be really sore when they ever try to use those muscles. So I always tell people, you can really figure out what's causing these issues by just going about your daily life. And then when you feel that pain of where we did the needles at, and it kind of feels like we're putting the needles back into that spot, usually over the next 24 hours, then you'll see what's causing or relating to this issue that you're having. So in the end, the goal is, is to show what things are causing the problems that you're doing on a day-to-day -day life uh, or in your day-to-day -day life, as well as things that you can do to change them, maybe, maybe through some questioning that we're doing on my end, but also adjusting. So in the end, everyone's getting their own specific adjustment based on what they need, not just the rote and you know routine adjustment that a lot of people end up getting. It's different for every patient. And hopefully we show that on these videos as well. And if you haven't, uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel so that you can continue to watch these videos and see them when they come up because I want to keep showing anything and everything that could come through a chiropractor's office um, or if you have an issue that you have personally and you don't know if chiropractic is an answer or has an answer for that issue, um, it can help you. I want to be hopefully a source for you so you can see and know firsthand if this is something that's going to be beneficial to you. So in the end, I'm going to leave you like I leave you in every other video. We're at Super Chiropractic. We've got your back and everything else and we'll see you in the next video. Mm-hmm.